Why? The Boeing 737 MAX has been such a mess. Following two terrible disasters and ensuing regulatory scrutiny, the Boeing 737 MAX has been at the center of a major aviation issue. Once hailed as a technological breakthrough, this aircraft model has encountered several difficulties that have damaged Boeing's brand and brought up important issues regarding aviation safety and supervision. Here are seven key points that illustrate why the Boeing 737 MAX has become such a contentious issue in the aviation industry. Number 7. Design Flaws Larger Leap 1B engines were installed in the Boeing 737 MAX as a result of major design improvements brought about by the competitive need for more fuel-efficient aircraft. Comparing these engines to earlier 737 models, they were heavier and placed higher and farther forward on the wing. This change in aerodynamics and weight distribution caused the aircraft to have a propensity to tip up under specific flight conditions, particularly during takeoff and low-speed situations. Boeing developed the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System to counteract this behavior. If the MKS sensed an impending stall, it would automatically lower the aircraft's pitch. However, there was a major single point of failure because this system only used data from one angle of attack sensor. MCAS might mistakenly force the nose down, resulting in a catastrophic loss of control if that sensor failed, as it did in both tragic crashes. Number 6. MKS Malfunctions a major factor in the catastrophic disasters of Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 and Lion Air Flight 610 was the MKS system's faults. Despite pilots' efforts to restore control using typical recovery methods, MKS aggressively engaged in both occasions due to incorrect readings from the AOA sensor, continually driving the aircraft's nose down. According to investigative investigations, before pilots flew the MAX, they were not even aware that MCAS existed, let alone given proper training on how to operate it. Pilots frequently felt overwhelmed and perplexed when MCAS malfunctioned in an emergency, with no clear instructions on how to turn the system off or override it. Because pilot manuals lacked important information about MCAS, Many pilots were unprepared for the possible failure modes of the system. In addition, Boeing's internal correspondence revealed that engineers had expressed concerns about MKS before the crashes, but that these issues were not adequately conveyed or handled within the company. Significant flaws in Boeing's safety culture and crisis management procedures were also brought to light by this lack of openness and inaction on known problems which directly contributed to the accidents. Number 5. Inadequate Pilot Training One of the most obvious shortcomings in Boeing's safety strategy since the implementation of MCS has been the inadequate training provided to pilots on the 737 MAX. Boeing initially promoted the MAX as being sufficiently similar to previous 737 models for pilots to be able to migrate with little further training usually simply a computer-based training module instead of extensive simulator sessions. Given the complexity brought about by emerging systems like MCAS, this assumption turned out to be dangerously naive. Due to financial constraints and regulatory requirements, several airlines chose this simplified training method, which left pilots ill-prepared to handle MKS activation crises. Pilots frequently found themselves without the information or abilities needed to react appropriately when MKAS failed in real-world scenarios. Number 4. Regulatory Oversight Failures Due to its shortcomings and deficiencies, the regulatory oversight surrounding the Boeing 737 MAX's certification has drawn harsh criticism for allowing serious safety hazards to remain unchecked. Boeing was given significant ability to self-certify different parts of its aircraft design and safety systems through the Federal Aviation Administration's Organization Designation Authorization Certification Procedure. Due to Boeing's financial incentives to speed up certification procedures in the face of fierce market rivalry, this delegation inevitably produced conflicts of interest. 
investigations showed that crucial MCS safety assessments were not completed to a high enough standard, for example, possible dangers connected with relying solely on one sensor were not fully considered before commercial flights were approved. Furthermore, according to internal papers, Boeing's deadline demands put pressure on some FAA officials, making it more difficult for them to properly implement the agency's strict safety regulations. Since the MAX's grounding revealed serious shortcomings in regulatory procedures that put speed ahead of thorough safety analyses, lawmakers and industry experts have called for major changes to aviation regulatory frameworks highlighting the need for increased autonomy and scrutiny in the certification procedures for aircraft. Number three, cultural and management issues. One of the main causes of the difficulties with the 737 MAX program has been found to be Boeing's company culture. There was a discernible change from an engineering-centric approach where safety and quality were of utmost importance to one that was increasingly motivated by commercial objectives and shareholder value after its 1997 merger with McDonnell Douglas. This shift in culture created an atmosphere where cost-cutting strategies frequently trumped strict safety regulations and engineering integrity. Internal emails disclosed incidents in which workers voiced safety concerns but felt under pressure to follow management instructions that put production schedules ahead of rigorous quality control procedures. According to reports, some engineers voiced concerns regarding MCAS, but they were deterred from raising these issues because they feared reprisals or being classified as obstructive. This culture of conformity rather than openness fostered an environment in which important safety issues might be disregarded or minimized endangering passenger safety and undermining confidence among stakeholders in Boeing and the larger aviation industry. Number 2. Ongoing Quality Control Problems After the 737 MAX was grounded and its design defects were thoroughly investigated, Boeing has still struggled with quality control issues in its manufacturing operations. An Alaska Airlines 737 MAX had a noteworthy incident in January 2024 when a door plug failed in mid-air owing to missing bolts. This should have been easily avoided with appropriate quality assurance procedures in place. Federal authorities launched investigations into Boeing's supply chain management and manufacturing methods in response to this occurrence, which also brought regulators' attention back to the company. The FAA's subsequent audits found many examples of non-compliance with safety regulations on different production lines, from poor assembly procedures to insufficient pre-delivery inspections. These persistent quality control failures point to structural weaknesses in Boeing's operations that need to be addressed right away if the company hopes to win back the trust of both airlines and travelers. Since then, the corporation has promised large investments in enhancing manufacturing procedures nevertheless, given previous setbacks, doubts persist about its capacity to guarantee uniform quality across all aircraft models. Number 1. Reputation and Recovery Efforts Boeing has devoted significant resources to recovery efforts in response to these numerous obstacles, which are intended to restore the company's reputation for safety and dependability in aviation manufacturing. This task has been made more challenging by regulatory oversight and public scrutiny in the wake of two tragic accidents. In order to improve supervision throughout its production processes and increase openness with stakeholders and regulators alike, the company has put new safety measures into place. Boeing has also spent billions to improve quality control procedures throughout its operations, from stronger auditing procedures meant to identify possible problems before they become crises to improved employee training programs centered on safety culture, true organizational culture change, and observable improvements in safety procedures in every aspect of the company's operations, not just cosmetic adjustments, but fundamental changes in Boeing's approach to engineering excellence. In the end, a mix of design faults, insufficient training, regulatory oversights, and culture concerns inside Boeing 
are the root causes of the problems surrounding the Boeing 737 MAX. Thanks for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe.